What's up guys, I'm Jerry Romine and I'd like to share with you how I became a millionaire. I'm creating this video because I want you to better understand my perspective and more importantly, I hope that I can inspire you to become a millionaire too. One thing that's a little different about my story is that I made everything happen after I sold off everything, moved abroad and was traveling full time. You know, one thing that bothers me about these millionaire videos on YouTube is it seems like a lot of the guys that have become millionaires are selling the baller lifestyle. And by that, I mean, they're bragging about fast cars and hot women, and that's what they did to get there. Then you've also got some of these wannabe millionaires and they're selling the lifestyle. But if you look closely, you'll see that they're renting airplanes for an hour to show things that they don't have. But can we be real for just one minute? Selling the baller lifestyle on YouTube is not something that most of us are likely to do. So I'd like to show a path for how you can make it big and fly under the radar. So in this video, I'm gonna break down step by step by step the path that I took to become a millionaire. And I wanna show you that there are several ways to become a millionaire regardless of your age. Whether you're 18, 30, 50, it really doesn't matter. There are a lot of different paths you can take. And for those of you that are wondering, I'm 49 years old, I'm nothing special, and if I can do it, then I know that you can do it too. I really hope that you enjoy this video, and if you do, give it a like and subscribe. Your click really matters, and it really does help the YouTube algorithm. Okay, I'm coming out. Yes, I'm a millionaire. You know, I'm normally really a very private person, and very few of my friends actually knew that I was a multimillionaire, so I guess now the cat's out of the bag. And I have to tell you, it's really a little bit weird for me sharing this on YouTube with people that I don't even know. And you should also know that I don't come from a family with money. I started with nothing. And probably the biggest factor that helped me in my life is I had a mother that was really an inspiration for me for hard work and values. All right, let's take a stroll down history lane and let me share with you my quick life story. I graduated high school at 17 years old and went to the first college in the world where you can get a degree in tennis. And I became a licensed teaching pro in one year and quickly decided that that really wasn't gonna be a challenging enough career for me. So I ended up going back to California and I planned on going to college. Well, over summer, that didn't last too long, plans changed and I ended up joining the Marine Corps where I became an air traffic controller and that was four years spent mostly in Kaneohe, Hawaii. After getting out of the Marine Corps, I moved to Oregon, bought my first house, rehabbed it, sold it, and made a $13,000 profit, which was a ton of money to me at the time. With that, I was hooked on real estate, and I became a full-time investor, a broker, and for the next several years, I was buying and selling properties, creating a portfolio, and then all of a sudden, I decided to sell off everything. I moved to Mexico and started trading commodities. The commodities gig lasted for a year and I was pretty proud of myself because I actually made money trading the commodities, but it wasn't the amount of money that I wanted. So I come back crawling to the United States, went to Phoenix, Arizona, and decided to revive my real estate investing career. I bought houses, I rehabbed apartments, and in one of my better months, I made over $100,000 in just one month alone. And with that, I started teaching real estate nationwide. And one of my claims to fame is I actually taught real estate on stage with somebody that's actually now president of the US. Sure, he was the headliner and I was almost all the way down in the basement, but that still has to count for something. Things were really going well and I was expanding. So I started buying and selling houses in Hawaii of all places and getting into some really big ticket items. But then my world came tumbling down. It was 2007 and I think you know what happens. The real estate markets crashed and I was holding a lot of real estate and a lot of real estate of high dollar value in Hawaii. When the markets dive bombed, 50% losses were common and with that, I lost everything. My credit took a dive and everything just gone almost in the blink of an eye. I had to start over and I knew that I could make money in real estate. I knew the business, I knew how it worked and I knew the markets would change and come back. But the problem was I just wasn't feeling real estate and didn't want to rebuild in the same way that I had in the past. So what was I going to do? Well, I decided I was going to get into Facebook and become really good at Facebook marketing. Over the years, I've become a really big fan of marketing and I've studied from some of the best, Dan Kennedy, uh, Jay Abrams, Gary Halbert, uh, and countless others. So I loved marketing and I got into Facebook and I figured, you know, how hard can it be? 
Well, after doing it for a year, I was really humbled and I wasn't making any great progress. So I decided to contact a friend of mine who was doing really well, talked with him, and he agreed to take me under his wing, show me a few things, and not being a freeloader, I paid him for, for his time and to help mentor me, and that changed everything. And I became one of the hired guns on Facebook ads. My success became known in private circles, and soon I was headhunted by a company that partnered with Facebook for doing marketing and ads on a major scale. The relationship was, you get paid for results. So I actually had to put up and risk my own money, but if you're really good, you get paid really well. And that relationship lasted for about two years, and those were a really, really good and profitable two years. But, alas, all good things come to an end, and I knew my end was coming soon whenever they hired an in-house team that was paid on a salary, and they had access to all of my ad campaigns and my creatives, so they were actually stealing, or using, my creatives for their own benefit while I was out in the dark creating everything. And in the end, it was just cheaper for the company to hire an in-house team than it was to hire somebody like me. So eventually, I was let go, and once again, I had to reinvent myself. I really wasn't that sure what I wanted to do, and somehow I ended up in Bali with two good friends, and the plan was we were gonna collaborate on a business together where we utilized all of our strengths. Unfortunately, we couldn't come together. However, while I was in Bali, I ended up meeting two guys that were really killing it on Amazon. And thus, my Amazon journey begins. So in 2014, I jumped into Amazon and my first product was fisherman and boho style pants, mainly for women. That failed. Next, I got into nutritional products and was crushing it. And this was in the early days of Amazon when it was a little bit easier than it is now, doing really, really well. And then all of a sudden, Amazon killed the entire category. There was nothing wrong with the product. There was nothing wrong with anything. Amazon just decided they were not going to sell that category of products anymore. And I was left out in the cold. So what to do? Next, I created a sporting goods brand. In May of 2015, I moved to Thailand. And at that time, my Amazon business was making less than $3,000 per month and in the growing stages. Fast forward, I built it into a seven-figure business all while traveling the world full-time. What's my current lifestyle? Would you believe I'm homeless? Absolutely everything I own fits in one big suitcase, one carry-on suitcase, and a backpack. And since then, I've lived all over the world, and at the end of 2018, I jumped on a motorcycle and toured all of South America for five months. And since the South America trip, I've lived in Colombia, Georgia, Armenia, Italy, Greece, Turkey, Morocco, and I'm currently in Sofia, Bulgaria, Bulgaria. Oh yeah, and I forgot to tell you, I spent much of this winter on the beautiful island of Madeira, Portugal. And this is one of the top islands in the world. And would you believe my girlfriend and I lived here for only $58 per day, and that included a rental car for most of the time. I know, I know, crazy, right? So what's my lifestyle today? Well, if you can believe it, I travel, the, I travel the world and on average, I spend well under $100 per day. And I mean, if you run the math on that, that's less than $3,000 per month. And that's the total cost for my girlfriend and I. That's what's possible with a little bit of planning and a little bit of budgeting. All right, let's take a quick look at my income. In 2019, my passive income just from investing was $152,341. And that does not include the, the income I had from real estate investing or from my Amazon business. 2019 was a great year for investments and delivered the best returns in six years. The Dow Jones Industrial Average was up 22.3%. The S&P 500 finished with a gain of 28.9% and the NASDAQ composite rose a whopping 35.3%. And because I'm on the road all the time, I don't do as much real estate investing as I used to, but just this week, I bought a house on 70 acres that's most likely gonna be a fix and flip for a really sweet profit. I've always been frugal, and by working, saving, and investing, I've been able to build a lifestyle, and I can live off a fraction of my income. How did I become a millionaire? Well, number one, I'm frugal, and that's really a key component, or at least it has been for me, because I save money where I can and when I can. And one example is most of the time I eat at home and I eat healthy, and that has allowed me to save a small fortune compared to eating out. And that's just one example. In other videos, I'll be able to go into it in a lot more detail and give you guys a plan for success from start to finish. Number two, I don't spend a lot of money on objects. 
actually, because of my lifestyle and traveling full time for the last five years, I've really become a bit of a minimalist. Not because it's like some great cause that I'm into, but because it's a necessity for me and my lifestyle. When everything you own fits into one suitcase, one small carry-on, and one backpack, you don't have room for material possessions and objects. And if I buy anything, that means that something I currently have has to be thrown out just so I can meet the weight requirements. Uh, number three, I do spend money on experiences. I really believe that our life is meant to be something important and worth living. So I do take the time to travel, to see the world, and if something means a lot to me, I definitely wanna make that happen. And even though I'm really frugal and I encourage others to do that, to save and get ahead, you don't ever wanna do that at the expense of not living and enjoying life. And number four, and this is a big one, you might even wanna write this down. I invest in myself, I invest in businesses, and I invest in investments. You see, the way I look at it is every day, we're either moving towards our goals or we're moving away from our goals. So in my life, every day, I wanna make sure at the end of the day, I can feel good about what I've done and at least I'm moving towards the direction of where I wanna be going. For me, that might be making money, it might be having fun, it might be slowing down to enjoy the moment, but I always wanna be progressing. And I think it's really important that we realize that money is just a tool. It's neither good nor bad. It's simply a tool. And no matter how much money I've made, whether it was 30,000, 40,000, or $100,000 in a month, I always live on just a fraction of my income. I think the most important thing you can learn is money is a tool designed to work for you. And to get there, you really need to learn and become a master of budgeting and planning. You see, it's not what you make, it's what you keep. And that's, not, and that's where most people stop, but you have to go one step further. What you keep, you need to invest so it can work for you. And that way, you can live, live the lifestyle that you want in perpetuity. So what's the goal of my channel? When I looked at YouTube and I saw all these ballers and wannabe ballers showing the glitz, the glamour, the fast cars, and the hot women, that really didn't resonate with me. That wasn't who I was. And while I love business, making money, traveling the world, riding motorcycles, good food, wakeboarding, I thought that there was a really big void out there on YouTube for showing the real side of, what, of who people are and how you can make a million dollars. And because I didn't see anybody living a lifestyle quite like mine, I decided to make this channel so at least there's a representation for people that are interested in doing the things that I'm doing. You don't have to be a baller you know, with a crazy lifestyle. I prefer to be like, be a baller on a budget, be low key, live the life that you want. And if you want, keep it under the radar, which is what I've done up until today. So that's my story on how I became a multimillionaire. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and please, and I mean this, please, put some comments uh, on the video, ask me questions. I'll try to respond to everybody personally. And now that you know what I'm all about, what do you want me to talk about on this channel? You want me to talk about making money, real estate investing, traveling the world uh, on the cheap, budget travel, how I find uh, travel deals, you name it, put it in the comments below. I really wanna hear from you. Let me know and I'll do my best to create the videos and put out the content that this channel wants. And I'll see you on the next video.